the nose plays a role as an airway with other functions, including air conditioning and air cleaning. It also plays a role in phonation and olfaction. Nose contributes almost 50% of overall resistance of inspired air, so nose breathing definitely important physiological process. When septum is deviated, it can cause nose breathing difficulty. However, almost 80% of people have nasal septum displacement. But mostly they don't know about it. The nasal septum is the bone and cartilage in the nose that separates the nasal cavity into the two nostrils. A deviated septum is an abnormal condition in which the top of the cartilaginous ridge leans to the left or the right, causing obstruction of the affected nasal passage. As we already mentioned it is common, for nasal septa, to depart from the exact center line, but, the septum is only considered deviated if the shift is substantial or causes problems. Serious deviation can cause breathing difficulty, but such cases are rare. Although deviated septum can cause symptoms, sinus infections, sleep apnea, snoring, repetitive sneezing, facial pain, nosebleeds, mouth breathing. Most common cause of deviated septum is trauma, less commonly genetic disorders, or compression nose during childbirth. Treatment. Common therapy for deviated nasal septum is management of symptoms with nasal sprays, including decongestants, antihistamines, or nasal corticosteroid sprays. They typically tried first, before considering a surgical approach to correct nasal septum deviation. Medication temporarily relieves symptoms, but does not correct the underlying condition. Non-medical relief can also be obtained using nasal strips. Septoplasty is a minor surgical procedure and can cure symptoms related to septal deviations. The surgery lasts roughly one hour and does not result in any cosmetic alteration or external scars. Some temporary symptoms can occur after surgery, including nasal congestion, pain, drainage, or swelling. This symptoms may last within the first few days after the surgery. Recovery from the procedure may take anywhere from two days to four weeks to heal completely. Septal bones never regrow. If symptoms reappear they are not related to deviations. Reappearance of symptoms may be due to mucosal metaplasia of the nose.